someone went through a divorce you don't go and say yes now let's fix those ex-in-laws of yours the ex is gone they will be happy with someone else i want to pause for a moment because we melt in this pot a lot of the times do you know what happens to us in the case of marriage we become hypocrites in the case of divorce we become even bigger hypocrites sometimes you find very religious people very religious they read salah they claim to be giving zakah they read quran you find them doing lots of good but when it comes to marriage they follow their desires they don't follow what allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam have taught what is it my son wants to marry this person no no i don't agree but sheikh my brother you read salah in the first surf you are supposed to be close to allah allah tells you if the deen is okay the akhlaq is okay let it happen no they are not from my tribe they are not from my part of the world they are not from this clan they are not from here and they hang on those are words of jahala and ignorance gone are those days gone are those days if you belong to allah you understand that person also belongs to Allah. They could be better than anyone you could have come up with. I know of parents who have very good children who have married where the parents want and they are suffering as a result of the wrong choice made by the parents. I know and I'm sure you know so many like those. Don't you? I heard a few yeses there. Mashallah. May Allah forgive your parents. Wallahi, it's a crime against humanity. It's a crime against humanity to force your kids to marry someone. Crime. If they don't want, tell them, I'm your father, it will not happen. If you are not happy, it's not going to happen. And if they want something for as long as it's not haram, my brothers and sisters, let it occur. Be happy for it. Solve your problem. You will not have an answer for Allah on the day of judgment. If you block something Allah allowed. I repeat that you will not have an answer for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment if you blocked and stopped something that Allah allowed. Allah allowed it, but you say, no, I'm not allowing it. Who are you? Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us realize our mistakes. Don't melt because the rest are there. Everyone has a big wedding. You want to have a big wedding, subhanAllah. Very big wedding. Have a simple one. Start a new trend. Have a simple wedding. We cannot afford to get our daughters married because we don't have the money to have the party. What party? Buy a few sweets from across the road and give them in the masjid and that's it. That's your walima. Nothing wrong. I gave it. I gave a bit of food. I loved the culture here in the masjid. They give a small pack of food. Am I right? Small pack. That was so beautiful. After that, you don't even need a function. Do you know that? That's enough as a walima. If you want to have the function, Alhamdulillah, be careful. Even if you are wealthy, wealthy, have a simple function to make it easy for others. Stop setting a trend and a mark where people are melting in your pot. They don't know. They cannot get married because it's too expensive. They come and borrow. And imagine you've got so many daughters, so many sons. What's going to happen? Ooh, you're holding your head. Oh Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. Nikah is so simple. There was a companion of Rasulullah sallallahu who walked into a house in order to ask for his friend who was waiting outside. According to one narration, okay? It's the point I want to raise from it. And he says, you know what? I have so and so, he wants to marry your daughter. That's how simple it was. Today we make it so difficult. When you go, you need to take parcels. You know these parcels? How many? It's more expensive than the whole marriage sometimes. One parcel, this, that. We're taking everything, Katia, Rado, and we bring the jeweler with us to confirm this is not fake, huh? <laughs> Subhanallah. There was once a marriage, they exchanged very expensive gifts. So these people had a, the, the watch was called a Patek Philip. Patek Philip, you must have heard that name. So marriage broke. I asked the guy, they were trying to get back some of the stuff. They said, the watch they can leave. I said, why? That was fake anyway. I said, subhanallah, look at this. That was fake anyway. What are you doing? 
it goes to show that it's all about showing. I gave you this, I gave you that, I did this, I did that. Why make life difficult? Don't let it be simple. If you respect my daughter and you honor her and you don't swear her and you don't abuse her and you give her the level that she deserves, Wallahi, I don't even need a single gift from you. That alone is the biggest gift. Don't you agree? So all the men sitting here, let's honor the women that are with us. Let's honor our wives and all the wives. Let's honor our husbands. Let's respect them. Subhanallah. So I was saying, when we marry, there is hypocrisy. I showed you how it is. A lot of hypocrisy. It becomes a show. It's a, it's a lovely wedding, but it's not a good marriage. You showed everybody what you could afford, what happened. Half the time it's borrowed money. Trust me, you went to the bank, you sweated. You gave the title deeds of whatever you own. And you took the loan in order for your, your daughter to get married or your son. And you know what happens? Marriage is broken before the loan is paid back. Allahu Akbar. Now when the marriage is broken, what we do? Again, we melt in the pot. Hatred ill feeling but there are children involved no matter what when you have children you will always be connected to the father or the mother of those children if you are one of the two there is no ways that you can disconnect completely there will always be a connection do not speak bad about the father or the mother of the children if you are one of those two you are the father don't speak bad to the children about the mother of those children because at the end of the day it's the mother of the child we make those mistakes, but we need to correct ourselves. If you are the mother, don't speak bad about the father of the children to the children. Many of us, what we do, we don't realize that, may Allah forgive us, we start speaking bad. We speak bad in what way? We want to win the children over to us. And by doing that, we stop them from seeing the other parent. For what? Again, I ask you a serious question. What answer are you going to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you have done that? Another very interesting point. We, for a small matter that we might have between spouses, we want to break the marriage. Khalas, I can't get along. I can't get along with her anymore. I really, I need to end this marriage. Why? Because when she came in, she doesn't greet me. She doesn't greet you. Subhanallah. That is a minor issue. We can correct it. We can rectify it. After a month, two months, she will greet you with a kiss. Like I said earlier. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. These small things. Sometimes the way of speaking might need correction. Correct it. Work on it. Don't just give up things. You bought a beautiful car. One scratch. Does that mean you throw the whole car away? No. You repair it and sometimes you live with the scratch it's good it will protect you from evil eye right someone says oh lovely car mercedes s600 beautiful they see one scratch oh scratch evil eye you are protected right protected straight because they they were impressed but that impression was actually a little bit tainted it was good for you right you see a person absolutely mashallah you forget to say mashallah just look <gasps> And what happened a little while later, you see the one tooth is missing. Ah, okay, okay. You have to breathe out. As you breathe in, you breathe out again. May Allah make it easy for us. Remember to relate goodness to Allah. We say, oh Allah, grant us goodness. Bless us with goodness. This is why all of us seated here, we will have some flaw, some fault. Some person nose is this way, eyes are this way, teeth is that way, ear is this way, cheek is that way, finger is this way. Nobody here is perfect. It was only Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one of the poets say it was as though he was created the way he wanted to be created. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah grant us, may Allah grant us the companionship of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the akhirah. Say Ameen.